हेलो गईस वेलकम टू कॉमर्स अडॉक गईस दिस इज माई ओन यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन एंड डो नॉट फॉरगेट टू शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स सो इन दिस सीरीज विच आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टूडे इन दिस सीरीज आई विल बी टेकिंग अप यू जी सी नेट कॉमर्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन क्वेश्चन पेपर्स देर आर थ्री शिफ्ट विच वर कंडक्टेड इन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन कॉमर्स टॉपिक वाइज क्वेश्चन ऑफ दट थ्री हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन आई सेग्रीगेटेड वन बाई वन टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू हैव ऑलमोस्ट ए it requires a two sessions for each of the topic so in that way b and i b today unit number 1 of the ugc net commerce that is business environment and international business unit related 2021 all the three shifts pyqs will be discussed under one session and uh, this will be actually ha having uh, 30 questions or uh, one rc also there requires only uh, the uh, rc if you can remove the remaining will be 25 questions will be there it may require either single session or a, a two sessions either today and tomorrow will be completing and moreover guys total 10 units are there in a same way like the subject wise i have divided this 2021 commerce pyqs let us start with the today's topic business environment and international business guys for your information myself vadnala shivlingam who is an educator at an academy platform for the paper 1 paper 2 commerce i am teaching daily 5:30 pm free live at an academy free platform for the ugc net paper 1 2021 question papers of uh, we are discussing and 9:15 pm to, today onwards we are going to have this session in this uh, commerce ada youtube channel that is why subscribe to this youtube channel and join in my telegram group commerce ada ugc net the link is given in the description and the chat box also it is pinned and do follow me in the academy learning app this is uh, the link is available in the description by So please download the Academy Learning App from the Google Play Store and sign up with your mobile number and the email and select the NTA Education Net category. After that, search my profile name, Vadnala Shivlingam. The link of the profile is available in the description. Just go and click on follow button and click on notify me for upcoming free special classes, which are called as a free live session. Then use the invite code Shiva Live to unlock the free live session. And there is a Education Net complete course on Paper One by the three educators for all the ten units. and uh, you can learn from me total 10 units of the ugc net paper 1 and paper 2 with a chart wise presentation of entire material one an academy plus subscription will give you all the educators not just my classes all the educators courses both paper 1 and paper 2 and their complete study material pdf mock test especially my way of presentation will be in the chart wise presentation in a less number of pages more content with a clear cut understanding from the examination perspective will be given so whenever you are taking a subscription not till tomorrow tomorrow is the last day because this offer is going on one week offer instead of 10 percentage discount you can get now 20 percentage discount on 6 hour at 3 month subscription whenever the huge discount is coming better to go for a higher uh, period of a subscription that is 6 months it will be preferable at this point of time or one year if you are going for iconic 6 months will be preferable So use the invite code Shiva Live S H I V A L I V E and get twenty percent instead of ten percentage. This offer is valid only till tomorrow, right? So let's move. So here first twenty fifth November shift number one, later shift number two, later twenty sixth November shift number one. So like that one by one shift business environment international business questions will be done. Question number one of this session. please do hit a like button guys corporate social responsibility is the continuing commitment by business to behave ethically and contribute to political awareness and social security and inclusion public health education and literacy maintaining ecological balances and protecting environment gender diversity and profiteering and market controlling rendering sponsoring donating social and charitable activities hello good evening everyone sayali sri archana mona utkarsh sibani diksha malik tahmina aruna shalini kalpana sushma nagraj hello babita good evening good evening raudi so what should be the answer 
towards a csr they are asking csr activities need to identify which is ethical to the business so answer will be b that is b c e b c and e because here gender diversity as well as profiteering are the negative elements of the csr activity gender diversity should not, should not be uh, done and profiteering is nothing but only profit motto controlling a market is actually not an ethical one it is unethical way whereas public health education which is one of the social responsibility maintaining ecological balances like uh, uh, related to environment if you are doing any charity works rendering sponsoring donating social causes are a charitable activities so there are five responsibilities will be there as per the karal model of the csr that is sorry four responsibilities will be there economic responsibility legal responsibility ethical responsibility philanthropic responsibility they are asking about ethical one the responsibilities refers to obligation which are right just and fair to be met by the corporation abiding the law procedure rules regulation and does not make business conduct always as a ethical or a good so here actually we should go in a ethical way which will be improvising the value of the organization in that way only our activity should be conducted next to prevent the opportunities take over of domestic firms and covid 19 pandemic foreign direct investment from countries that shareholders with india is allowed through automatic government fipb dp double it Hello, Santosh. answer will be government route because in order to stop the ethical in order to stop the unethical uh, 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 takeovers that is opportunities take over due to financial uh, misbalances happened in the covid 19 situation if any opportunities takeovers are happening by the foreign direct investment from the countries so then uh, via government route only the fta has to be undertaken that is what a decision of the government so government route is nothing but with the permission of a government only they can uh, invest as part of the foreign direct investment so otherwise they cannot if it is a if it is automatic route now no need of approval of the government but in the government route you require approval of the government so that will stop the opportunity takeover over here to prevent that only india shares land borders with the pakistan afghanistan china and nepal and bhutan bangladesh myanmar so because of this revised fdi policy na the curbing the opportunities takeovers or acquisition to indian companies due to the current covid 19 financial situations financial situations right hello satish next wealth of the nations principles of political economy and taxation principle of population das capital So answer will be B that is wealth of the nations uh, which is given as and this is the only one which is known wealth of the nation third one and the principle of political economy and taxation which is 1817 is in David Ricardo principle of population 1798 Thomas Malthus and Das Capital is in Karl Marx these are the four international uh, business related one. 
so nature and uh, uses of the uh, like wealth of the nation given by the adam smith principle of the political economy and taxation which is by the david ricardo thomas robert malthus in the 1798 an essay on the principle of population is written german philosopher karl marx and das capital is essentially a description of the capitalist system of how the capitalist is, uh, capitalist economy will be working that is given in this book next sequence the following increasing order of integration of member economies <clears throat> the sequence will be there na So, answer will be first one will be uh, it must be a preferential trade agreement. It will be starting from preferential trade agreement after that free trade area or free trade agreement. Free trade agreement after that custom union, custom union, common market after that economic union, uh, economic union, yes after that political union will be there this is how the sequence free preferential trade free trade area custom union common market economic union political unions this is the deeper integration of the regional economic integration hello sarvani and which of the following institutions include in the world bank group ifc international monetary fund world bank organization so world trade organization multilateral investment guarantee agency International Development Association. The answer is not, uh, options are not visible, okay. So, your answer will be uh, option number D should be the correct answer, yes. Because World Bank Group is consisting of A, D, E, A, D, E. It uh, World Bank Group usually having International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, International Development Association, International Financial Corporation of India and Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency and International Center for Settlement for Investment Dispute, ICSID. Chalo. Next. <clears throat> Which is the most potent driver for business transformation during the COVID-19? Yes, Mona and Shalini, correct.
वन एंड ओनली ब्लाइंड आंसर आई वुड से ब्लाइंड आंसर हाउ द वर्ड इज अ मोस्ट पोर्टेंट ड्राइवर फॉर द बिजनेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन विच इज ए टेक्नोलॉजी नव ऑल्सो आई एम यूजिंग इफ द कोविड वॉज नॉट देर दिस मच ई लर्निंग ग्रोथ वॉज नॉट देर देर इज बिकॉज ऑफ द कोविड ओनली द ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन सिस्टम ऑल्सो ग्रोन लाइक एनी थिंग like online education many other uh, systems have adopted the technology and innovation in the covid 19 situation due to this technology only all the businesses were able to conduct their business otherwise they were not able to conduct at the time most potential driver is that only where whatever you can look at healthcare real estate manufacturing retail financial services many industries were sustaining because of the digital services that they were providing next uh, factor conditions in michael porter competitive advantage of the nation so national competitive advantage theory international th theory given by the michael porter in this theory in this theory what are the factor condition from the given below need to identify the factor condition most potent driver means most possible one we need to identify bhaiya carefully factor condition is one of the condition out of the four elements of the national competitive advantage four are there na demand condition factor condition forms rivalry as well as industry and uh, uh, supporting industries there are four are there now out of that four what elements will be coming under the factor condition look at the statement very carefully this is a specific question which made us to do the mistake so factor condition is one of the component of the model or the theory which example will be falling under this factor condition factor nothing but a resource factor nothing but a resource resources can be a human resource resources can be a material resource here skilled labor and scientific knowledge these both are technical skill as well as the labor which is a both are comes under the human resource so that is a fourth option which is falling under the factor condition national resources specialized resources and national stability national culture all these are factor condition for any business demand conditions are market preferences client value strength of the demand and domestic market behavior firm strategy structured rivalry is nothing but about the competitor behavior related and supporting industries are nothing but uh, number of companies and specialized business number of supplier those are the factors related to it right so next question guys do hit a like button if you like this session hello kritika how are you logically sequence the following in the process of entering into international market outlined by the upasla model this is a item question out of the box question out of all is this only uh, entire international business out of the box question is only one that is this but still if you can apply your common sense irrespective of the model you can uh, answer this question by demand kandi why not b means you are not getting the point sarika factor conditions they clearly asked this is separate element of the look at this is separate element of the michael porter under the factor condition what will come they are asking that is about the skill it will come it is about the resources factor condition example they are asking look at this point Yes, Upasla model is an hello Praveen. Upasla model is an international business, international trade.
So option C is the correct answer. That is D A E C B. D A E C B. First, uh, domestic operation and production. How to enter into international market? Process of entering into international market. First, to do the domestic operations. Later, sporadic, ad hoc. So, ad hoc means temporary export. Temporary export. Because over and above, if any domestic production is there, now leftover thing, you can sell it to export form. After that, exporting via independent representative. Individually, you are only doing exports. Later, you can do establishment foreign sales subsidiary. Any agent uh, you can find, you can just make a contract with them. Next, foreign production and manufacturing uh, is a regular process. Whether it is Upasla model or any model will give the same type of sequence. But here, Upasla model is having a proper sequence. No regular export that is periodic means only occasionally do it ad hoc basis. Independent representative later. Later, foreign sales subsidiary. After that, foreign production and sales. This is how the foreign direct investment will happen, increasing the market commitment in the foreign countries. Yes, occasionally ad hoc means don't do continuous. Sporadic means occasionally or not regular or excessive of the domestic production is called as in sporadic. Hello Priya. So what will be the answer? Answer will be B. That is uh, David Ricardo is in theory of, com theory of comparative advantage. Adam Smith, sorry, Michael Porter is a national competitive advantage. And Adam Smith is in theory of absolute advantage. Hexer and Ohrin factor endowment theory. Factor endowment theory. Okay. So these are the theories of international business classical. Mercantilism theory, this is actually a uh, confusing author. Some books are written as an Adam Smith, some books are written as an Thomas Moon. And absolute advantage, Adam Smith, comparative advantage, David Ricardo, factor endowment theory, X and Ohlin. And modern operating, modern international theory, uh, business theories are country similarity theory, Stephen Linder, product life, production life cycle, is an uh, Raymond Vernon, global strategic rivalry theory, Paul and Kevin. Porter National Competitive Advantage Theory given by the Michael Porter. Here questions are looks like easy. Yes, yes, easy. Countervailing duties. Counter means ulta. Veiling duties are often imposed on imports to offset the impact of the predatory pricing, export subsidies, dumping, low cost financing. Pure conceptual question, look at, pure conceptual question, look at, very, very carefully answer the question.
सो आंसर इज एक्सपोर्ट सब्सिडी इज द करेक्ट आंसर एक्सपोर्ट सब्सिडी इज द करेक्ट आंसर बिकॉज काउंटर वेलिंग ड्यूटी इज नथिंग बट वेन एवर आर इंपोर्ट प्राइस इज लेस आज कंपेर्ड टू द डोमेस्टिक प्राइस सपोज द प्राइस एट विच यू आर इंपोर्टिंग इज एट एटी रुपीज बट द डोमेस्टिक सेम प्रोडक्ट इन द इंडिया द प्रोडक्ट डोमेस्टिक प्राइस इज दट हंड्रेड रुपीज इज देर सो इफ यू आर इंपोर्टिंग एट एटी रुपीज एनी बडी विल बाई दिस आर इंडियन प्रोडक्ट विच इज अ डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट नो एवरीबडी विल इंपोर्ट द प्रोडक्ट बिकॉज ट्वेंटी रुपीज इज लेस ना वाई दे विल बाई द डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट सो दट इज वाई that is why in order to compensate this we will make this import price and domestic price equal so what we'll do we'll add 20 rupees as an counter veiling duty counter veiling duty which is called as an anti dumping duty type so this is anti dumping duty will be levied to make it as a domestic price equal so here uh, the question is saying Half an imposed on the uh, uh, imports to offset the impact of the export subsidies. Export subsidies, whatever we are providing for our domestic exporters, na the subsidy given by the government, this has to be offset by import price increase by adding additional duty to it. So there is a uh, FDI related passage is given. So if you are okay, I will go ahead and read. If you are okay, I will go ahead and read. Shall I? So let's take up the passage. Let's take up the passage. this is item questions only but let's see give pola ah uh, i will give i will give give pol and what to do by what you will do with pol so here in 2019 india 10 largest trading partners were usa china uae saudi arabia hong kong iraq singapore germany south korea switzerland all these are 10 largest trading partners with india so in 2018 19 the foreign direct investment in india is 64.4 billion with a service sector computer and telecom industry remains leading sectors for the fdi inflows india has a free trade agreement with a several nations including asian safta mercosur south korea japan and few other which are in effect are under the negotiating stage the service sector makes up the 55.6 percentage of the gdp and remains the fastest growing sector while the industrial sector and the agriculture sector employs a majority of the labor force and the bombay stock exchange national stock exchange are one of the world largest stock exchanges by the market capitalization next uh, india is the world sixth largest manufacturer manufacturer representing 3% of the global manufacturing output and employs 57 million people and 60 60 uh, 66 percentage of near population india uh, is rural whose primary source is that agriculture 66 percentage is agriculture and contribute less than 50 percent of gdp even though 66 percent are population are agriculture but they are contributing less than 50 percent of gdp and it has a world fifth largest foreign exchange reserves with a 38.382 832 uh, billion us and uh, india has a high national debt of 68% of D, uh, gdp while its physical deficit remains at 3.4 of gdp as per 2019 cog report actual physical deficit is 5.85 percentage as per the cog report so india government owned banks faced uh, mounting bad debt and resulting in low credit growth simultaneously nbfc sector have been uh, agulfed in a liquidity crisis india faces high unemployment and rising income inequalities and major slump in the aggregate demand right 
So this is the passage. From the passage, let us identify one by one question. India has a significant trading partner from which of the following region? Europe, America, Asia, Africa. So actual answer is that here, actual answer is that here, B is the given answer, but we have challenged this question, but answer is not changed, B, C, D, America, Asia, Africa, but in the passage, there is no talk about the Africa, if you can carefully observe now, total 10, uh, 10 trading partners are there, total 10, out of that, out of that, if you carefully observe, if you carefully see, America is there, Asia is there, but Africa is not there. You can just see here Asian, SAFTA, Mercosur, South Korea, Japan are there. In this Asian and European got covered as well as as well as uh, this uh, America also covered, Europe also covered, Asia also covered. But sir, Europe not covered, America and Asia covered, but Africa not covered. Still they given us that answer. What to do? Next. Which of the following has not been articulated in the passage? GDP growth rate, currency flows and liquidity, demographics. By which of the following is not articulated? Articulated means not expressed. Not expressed. Like GDP growth, currency, currency flows, liquidity, demographics. Which is not? Answer please. Kya hua bhai? Praveen, please increase your resolution. Oh, what? Move. Oh, no, boy. Lock. Hello Akshay, uh, just now have seen Sarika. So answer for 91 is that uh, C. C that is only B, they are talking about currency flows, neither GDP growth nor liquidity as well as demographics. Next question 92. Comptroller and Auditor General has reported different estimate, uh, estimate than of government in terms of. Now to deleted, I only deleted, don't worry. Ignore, 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 ignore. Please ignore. Don't know who is he or she. It may be like intentional also. We don't know. Option uh, C is the given answer that is sorry B is the given answer 92 B physical deficit because control and auditor general in the passage very clearly reported uh, here controller and auditor general actual physical deficit of 5.85 percentage of the GDP yes 
दे वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फिजिकल डेफिसिट नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सेक्टर्स हैव एफडीआई सिग्निफिकेंट एफडीआई इन इंडिया सर्विस सेक्टर सेकेंडरी सेक्टर प्राइमरी सेक्टर फिशरीज एंड एनिमल हस्बेंडरी यू कैन जस्ट लुक एट विच ऑफ द सेक्टर्स हैविंग एफ डी आई leading sector uh, leading sectors service sector computer and industry remains a leading sectors in fdi so answer is given as an uh, b 93 b that is b and c secondary as well as primary sector is it 92 b right mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 92 b yeah. sorry 93 what 93 a that's what i am where the service sector went i am just checking out service sector and secondary sector correct industry secondary is nothing but industry and this is service is and tertiary sector okay next question hello satinder correct sir vani Which among the following statements is correct one India has a better trade relation with the European countries and MSC is the largest stock exchange in the world Indian primary sector is contributing less as compared to other sector India attracts highest FDI from USA correct now because one one passage is there now by the passage is in the passage they are saying one line if you carefully observe in the passage they are saying one line here 66 percentage of the population rural whose primary source is that agriculture but 66% is a primary sector but it is contributing less than 50 percentage of gdp in india so answer is indian primary sector means agriculture sector is contributing less as compared to other sector right so shift number 1 completed now to shift number 2 Yes, Shalini and Sirvani. Foreign investments is playing an increasing role in economic development and contributes a significant share in the domestic investment and employment generation and exports. Substantial increase in the magnitude of capital inflows have remarkably improved the balance of payment foreign exchange reserve position. so here in order to make it visible yes
so answer is what answer is b is the correct answer that is both are correct and not explanation foreign investment is playing an increasing role in the economic development because of the fdi yes economy is developing that is uh, nobody can deny that substantial increase in the magnitude of the capital inflows have remarkably improved in the balance of payment and foreign exchange reserve position yes by this reason is also actually it increasing foreign reserves and it reduce the balance of payment deficit balance of payment deficit got reduced if not surplus but deficit reduced that means we are moving in a surplus position only both are actually uh, individually the statements are correct but the substantial reason is substantial increase in magnitude of capital inflows is not the reason for economic development actually one way you can give the answer as an a because both are in the context of capital inflows of the foreign investment only but one is saying impact of the foreign inflows means what will be the consequence of the foreign inflows and this is about the economic development and all next which of the following entity recently been negotiated to replace nafta with effect from july Are every time I refresh one ad is coming. Wow. Great, great. So answer is that USMCA is the correct answer. USMCA full form. That is previously NAFTA was there, North American Free Trade Agreement was there. This was converted into US Mexico Canada Agreement. US Mexico Canada Agreement. So this is renamed as an USMCA agreement. You can just see US Mexico Canada Agreement is uh, came into force from July 1, 2020. Environmental characteristics influencing distribution decisions are Okay, Kabita, thank you. I'll do that. So answer will be D, A, B, D, A, B, D is the correct answer that is factors influencing the distribution decision A, B, D, government, state of the economy, technological and infrastructure development, statutory provisions, social activism and distribution decision does not have any interact because this is part of the CSR not the distribution decision and remaining are the part of the distribution chain of the uh, business next identify the principles of trade policy framework from the following under the wto this question is nothing by that is you have to look into from the marketing perspective distribution dc distribution decision while taking like selecting a wholesaler retailer and all now so what are the things that you will that you will consider the regulations will be considered as well as who are there in that loop will be considered
So, answer for this question is option C that is A, C, D. Under the WTO, the principles of trade policy under the WTO, A, C, D. Res, uh, reciprocity of and transport, non-discriminatory and D, D, binding and enforceable commitment. So, you can look at following principles non-discrimination reciprocity it means it's a practice of exchanging the things with others with a mutual benefit that is what a reciprocity whenever the need comes you need to exchange with other entities other other countries also enforceable commitment transparency as well as safety valves safety valve is nothing but actually valve is an automatically to relieve excess pressure if any excess pressure is coming now in order to remove that one the safety valves will be there if any excess pressure on the any country that will be released by other countries in a cooperation as part of the World Trade Organization. These five are the rules of the WTO, principles of the five, uh, five principles of the WTO, non-discrimination, reciprocity, en enforceable commitments and transparency safety valves. Next. Occasional sale of commodity at a lower price abroad in order to unload an unforeseen and temporary surplus of the commodity without reducing domestic prices is called. So, option D is the correct answer, sporadic dumping. Lower price abroad in order to unload the unforeseen temporary surplus of commodity. Suppose in India, in India you produced a commodity X, a 10,000 quantity or a 1 lakh quantity you produced. But India only demand up to 80,000 quantity. Then what the remaining 20,000 quantity which is left over but you produced already is there with you. That 20,000 you will be exporting, exporting to other countries at a lower price because you want to sell the excess stock. At a lower price only you are selling it or exporting to other country at a lower price. It, is, it may be below the cost price also, you will be selling it to other country. Why you are selling at a lower than the cost price? Because you are having an excessive stock. If you do not sell at a lower than the cost price also, then it will be wastage. So, that is why you will be selling this extra uh, material to other country which is called as an sporadic dumping. Sporadic means excessive or only occasionally we will sell those type of stuff. Sporadic usually means selling excess stock. The reasons put forth for the control over the activities of international banks are, this is a general question. Actually, this question is part of the banking and financial institution, but okay. As part of the lending operation, we can take it under the international business. So, answer will be option D is the given answer, D is the given answer A, B, C, D, uh, all R comes under the control activities of the international banking only. Encourage the inflation by adding a stock of money supply through credit creation and these banks sometimes responsible for bank failures also at par the interest rate of the depositors and uh, unmanageable indebtedness also and uh, they do not other to credit allocation policy of the host government. So, these type of restrictions I would say control is nothing but restrictions which are to protect that particular economy or the industry. 
these restrictions are being created by the internet uh, on the international banks because if they don't have these restrictions or the uh, strict rules now then international banks will be failing to implement next so we'll look into uh, last question by last question i think which of the following countries are a terrorist uh, territories is not a member of the wto china russia iran and taiwan Infl when the inflation increases creation of the money value will come down na answer will be iran answer will be iran china russia taiwan are the full member countries of the wto iran is not a member country but iran is in the observing status of the wto since the 2005 so united state consistently blocked the iran's bid to join in the wto since the tehran first asked the membership several years ago so iran is an presently observed state observer status not the member next last and final question arrange the following countries in the ascending order of their contribution to wto budget 2020 this is a highlight question of the entire session ending with a great question answer karo bhai how do we know this actually how do we know this budget contributions of each country there are 164 countries are there how we will get the answer many questions on the wto this time let me tell you directly i think it will be time wasting option c that is d first united states of america first but if you look at carefully na two options are available with the us after the united states of america then a china is there after the china then uh, you have b that is japan is there japan is there after that e united kingdom is there later german is the last one german is the last one if you look at UK 3.823, 3.887 and 7.11, 10.445 and United States of America 11.739. They are asking about ascending order, na? Ascending order. That is why high to low. High to low. Starting from US to ending to Germany. You can just look at the percentage of the contribution. percentage of the contribution of all the 164 countries what to do total 164 countries have been added right what option is given c wait 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 data may be um, wait wait i might have opted for wrong option c so united kingdom 1 b japan c a d so usa will be last ta huh? means low to high low to high yes low to high ascending low to high right thank you so much guys and remaining questions will be discussed in so tomorrow session tomorrow part number 2 of this session will be there at same time 9:15 pm in the same channel commerce adda 
here only for that please do subscribe whenever i am going live you will get a notification and do not forget to join in my telegram group and do hit a like button to this session and share with your friends also good night everyone we will be meeting in the next session bye bye